to another episode of Kids Can Cook. Today we're going to be making a dessert. We're going to be making cake mix cookies. It's only three, well, I guess four ingredients you could say, and they're super easy. They only take a few minutes and you guys can do this by yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the things that you're going to need for the cookies. We have our oven preheating to 350 degrees so we can get it warm before we put the cookies in the oven. So for this recipe, you're going to need a baking sheet or two to bake your cookies on, any cake mix that you want. It could, I have Funfetti today, but you could use chocolate, vanilla, lemon, red velvet, anything that you guys want to use. Some vegetable oil or canola oil works also. It just can't be olive oil because you don't want to use that in baking. Some eggs, we're only going to need two eggs today, so I have eggs, and powdered sugar. Those are the only ingredients that you need. I have my garbage bowl here. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know I like to use a garbage bowl so I don't have to run back and forth to the garbage. I can just put it all in one place. I have a liquid measuring cup to measure the oil, a bowl to mix it all in along with a spoon, and I have a plate um, to put our powdered sugar on. So you'll see a little bit later why we do that. So let's get started. Okay, so, so far I've gotten all my ingredients measured. I have one egg cracked into the bowl already. I'm going to crack the second egg in. Easy trick, just tap it on the table, stick your thumbs in, and you crack the egg. I have a third a cup of vegetable oil. That goes in here. And my cake mix. Once again, you can use any cake mix you like. So in addition, to what I'm using, you can add some add-ins in. So if you want to add M&Ms or chocolate chips or something else to your cake batter or cookie batter, I should say, you can totally do that. I'm gonna leave mine plain for today, but feel free to experiment, have fun and try different things. So I'm gonna get this all mixed up and I'll be <laughs> So welcome back. I've taken my cookie dough out of the fridge and now it's ready to be rolled and put into the oven. So this is an optional step that you could do. I really enjoy doing it because I think that it makes the cookies look really pretty is I like to dip mine in some powdered sugar. So when they bake, they sort of spread apart and it looks like crinkle cookies. So the way that I do that is dipping them in some powdered sugar and then they spread apart and look like crinkle cookies. This is an optional step. Of course, you don't have to do this, but I really like it because I think it makes the cookies look really pretty. So as you saw, I put some of my powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, they're the same thing, into or rather onto a plate. And now I'm going to scoop my dough using just a teaspoon, any spoon that you have in your house. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Scoop them into a ball. This is why it's important to put it in the fridge because otherwise this step, it can sort of fall apart. And roll them, oops, making a mess. Roll them in the powdered sugar put them on my sheet and I just press them down a little bit. You don't want to squish them down too much. They will expand on their own, but just to flatten them out a little bit. And so I'm just going to continue to do this and I'll show you when they're all done and ready to be put in. portioned out, rolled in the powdered sugar, and I put them on my baking sheets. You want to spread these a little far apart because it is cake mix. It'll spread a little bit more than normal cookies. You can make them any size you want. Just take note that that means the cooking times will be different. So my cooking times might be different from yours, but you can make them any size, any shape that you want. Just you have to watch them in the oven a little bit more. So I'm going to put these in the oven. The oven is at 350 degrees. I'm going to put them in for eight minutes and I'm gonna watch them. They might need up to 10 minutes. So between eight to 10 minutes, keep an eye on them. When they start to spread out and crinkle, you'll know that they're done. Okay, so I've taken my cookies out of the oven, let them cool and put them on a plate. Mine actually needed about 12 minutes in the oven. So like I said, just watch them until they start to break apart and crinkle like this. So that's all for this recipe. Thank you for watching. Remember, like in every recipe and in everything in life, there are always some mistakes, but mistakes make everything beautiful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.